So today we'll be talking about the treatment strategies of hypertension. So what is the main ultimate goal of the antihypertensive therapy? It is to reduce the cardiovascular and renal morbidity and mortality. The Joint National Committee had put forward the JNC8 guidelines which advises the higher blood pressure goals and less use of antihypertensive medications. Now let's talk about the treatment algorithm. So that is the basic protocol to be followed while prescribing the antihypertensive for the hypertension. So first what we do is that adults with hypertension age greater than 18 years, we are trying to implement the lifestyle interventions. Remember it is to be continued throughout the management. Then we are setting up a blood pressure goal and then prescribe the blood pressure lowering medication based on three factors. That is the age, diabetes and chronic kidney disease. So based on these three factors there are four categories. That is age, greater than or equal to 60 years, then age less than 60 years, all ages with diabetes and no CKD and all ages with CKD with or without diabetes. So this is the four categories. The blood pressure goal of the patients with age greater than or equal to 60 years is to maintain a BP of less than 150 bar 90 mmHg. Whereas for the other three categories, the main BP goal is to maintain the BP less than 140 bar 90 mmHg. So now we have set up the BP goal. After this, we have to initiate with the first line therapy. The four class of drugs that is used as a first choice in hypertension includes gastrin channel blockers, diuretics, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, angiotensin 2 receptor blockers. Remember beta blockers should never be used as a first line agent. The reason for it could be it's reduced cardioprotection action. It has got a suboptimal effect in lowering the blood pressure compared to the other drugs. Their pseudo antihypertensive efficacy, their undesirable adverse effects which reduce the patient's compliance, their unfavorable metabolic effects, all of which could be reason for the fact that beta blockers are no longer the first line agents. So now after categorizing into four categories, we have to initiate the first line agents. For the first three categories, that is age greater than or equal to 60 years, age less than 60 years and all ages with diabetes and no CKD, we are going to initiate the thiazide type diuretic or CCB alone or in combination. So that's happening with the, these three categories. Talking about the all ages with CKD with or without diabetes, we can initiate AC inhibitors or ARBs alone or add on in combination with other drug class. So once we have initiated the first line therapy, then we have to select a drug treatment titration strategy. It can be A, B or C. So what is A? A is to increase the dose of first medication before adding the second. B is to add the second medication before reaching the maximum dose of the first medication. C is to start with two medication classes separately. So this is the three different strategies that is used for titration. So first one is to increase the dose of first medication before adding the second. The second one is to add the second medication before reaching the maximum dose of first medication. C is to start with two medication classes separately. So what happens in the next step of the algorithm? If the BP goal has been achieved, we can continue the current treatment and go for further monitoring. And if the goal BP has not been maintained, then we have to reinforce the medication and lifestyle adherence. At this stage for strategies A and B, we have to add and titrate thiazide type diuretic or AC inhibitors or ARB or CCB. Remember that we are using a medication class that is not being previously selected and we have to avoid the combination of AC inhibitors and ARB. This is because this combination does not reduce the poor outcomes and leads to more adverse drug related events than an AC inhibitor or ARB alone. For strategy C, we have to try to treat the doses of initial medication to maximum. After this stage, if the goal BP has been attained, then we can continue the current treatment and go for monitoring. 
and if it is not being attained then we have to reinforce the medication and lifestyle adherence at this stage we have to add and titrate the thiazide type diuretic or ac inhibitors or arb or ccb and similarly we have to use the medication class not previously selected and avoid the combined use of ac inhibitors and arb so after the stage again if the gold bp has been attained then we can continue the current treatment and go for further monitoring and if it has not been attained then we have to reinforce the medication lifestyle adherence and at this stage we have to add additional medication class for example a beta blocker aldosterone antagonist or any other antihypertensive therapy and or refer to a physician with expertise in hypertension management thereafter if the goal bp has been attained then we have to continue the current treatment and go for monitoring and if the goal has not been attained again we are going to the last step of the algorithm that is to add the additional medication class which could be a beta blocker aldosterone antagonist or any other antihypertensive therapy so this is all about the treatment algorithm so let's just recollect what it was initially we implemented the lifestyle intervention then we categorized into four groups then we set up a bp goal then we initiated the first line therapy after initiating the first line therapy we selected a titration strategy that is a b or c after that then we followed a protocol where uh, the if the goal bp has been maintained how it has to be and if it is not maintained what should be followed so i hope you have clearly understood regarding the treatment algorithm of hypertension if there's any doubt comments or suggestions please do mail in us thank you